Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. I'm going to just basically show you a little bit about the Wireshark Week presentation I did. I'm going to put this URL in the actual description. It's free, so you can go check these classes out. Observer.viavisolutions.com slash Wireshark dash week. Again, I'll put the URL in the actual notes and you can get it from there. So Chris Greer did a bunch of stuff and Mike Candy did stuff and this is about me at the end so obviously I don't have their stuff. So I'll just tell you a little bit about me but by all means check their stuff out as well. So I'm going to just start this thing up. And so the presentation, let me see here, why is it fighting me? There you go. So I was doing the presentation, Bill Proctor at the end jumped in for a little bit to show you some Viavi stuff and Brad Reinbolt was the guy who was emceeing the stuff. So basically, I talked about span, tap, that kind of stuff. Then down here, I was, again, I'm just going to quickly fly through some of these. I talked about a local example on how to start doing a baseline with a client going to a web server and what to look out for. And I talked about this logical diagram and response times, a suggestion on how you can start doing some application baselining or dependency analysis. How to use Chrome to measure web performance using the network menu or the performance menu. Really cool stuff. Down here, let me just jump down here for a little bit. Really cool little tool from Nursoft called Cports or Curports, what that does for you. Microsoft Messenger Analyzer actually can tell you the process that generated the packet, which is always a great thing to have in your toolbox. Just jump down a little bit more. Let's see here. Um, there we go. The I.O. graph, how to use the I.O. graph and put your protocols in there so you can see over time which protocols tend to kick in. You can actually do the same thing with the display filter for IP addresses or port numbers to see when certain servers come into play. Uh, down here we talked about the layer 2 response time, ARP. So you have an ARP command, ARP response, and there's your time, 52 microseconds, that sort of thing. And then DNS response time and all that good stuff. So I'm trying to keep this relatively quick for you. So there's a whole lot of stuff for you to digest. You can watch it, pause it, try some stuff out. Go get the free software I mentioned as well. There's a bunch of them in there. And hope you find it helpful. Have a good day. Bye.